and uh, welcome Manny Acta, the new manager of the Cleveland Indians, to All Bets Are Off here on your TV home for Tribe Baseball Sports Time Ohio. Uh, Manny, congratulations. Well, thank you. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I got to ask you some questions that my colleagues in the media did not uh, ask you. And first of all, on a personal basis, I got a real kick out of your comment about your family and tic tac toe. Um, <laughs> you're married, and tell us about your wife. And do you have one daughter, one child? I have two daughters. I, uh, I'm married. My wife is uh, Cindy, and uh, I met her through, uh, through my, my years in the minor leagues while playing in, in A-ball, and we've been married for 20 years, and we have two, uh, two, two, two children, two daughters. Uh, one of them is uh, Jennifer. She's 23 years old, and, um, and Leslie. She's 14 years old, a freshman in high school. So, you know, it's, uh, they're very excited and looking forward to come over here to Cleveland during uh, next year. Oh, you're going to love Cleveland. I'm a transplant, and I fell in love with it. Let me, let me get to the nitty-gritty. Are you a bookman manager when it comes to pitching lefty-righty theory, Manny? <laughs> I, uh, I think I described myself um, uh, last week to these guys. Uh, I'm a common-sense guy. A uh, common-sense guy. I think uh, we, we, we do have to uh, understand that stats are facts. Um, but also you need enough of them to make decisions, and there's always have to be room for gut feeling. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I also believe that stats are like bikinis. They show a lot, but not everything. And uh, that's what I am. And, and the book thing, it's a, it's a very interesting thing because uh, I've been trying to to look for that book for over 20 years and I haven't found it yet. So. <laughs> you mentioned the starting rotation. I, I happen to agree with you as an analyst of the, of the Indians. On paper, I like our bullpen. Of course, I did last year and it didn't work out. But the starting rotation is a concern. In your meetings, confide with us what you can with Mark and Chris and Paul Dolan. Um, if need be, will the Indians be willing to pay some money and go add another starting pitcher in the offseason? Well, I can't speak for uh, you know for for our front office on that end, uh, and 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 I sure I uh, hope that people understand that. I think uh, th they know what we're all about. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have the biggest free agent in the market walk through the doors over here. Uh, I don't think that's what's been done in the past, but uh, we do know that we have to address uh, our starting rotation. But also having Jake healthy, you know, it's a it's a step in the right direction, and you know that's uh, we're counting on that. If Brantley is destined to be our leadoff man, and you actually alluded that you could get the job done too, but no, 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 no. Wait a minute. I didn't say that that you could be a leadoff hitter here. I said that we have some other guys that could, uh, you, you know, change the, the the way our lineup is structured. It's either going to be, you know, a guy like Grady, or uh, you know, he's done it for 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 numerous years here. And, uh, you know, we have other options down the road. A guy like Brantley, if he develops, you know, uh, continues to develop at this level. Never say that you is going to be a leadoff hitter. Don't, don't, don't misquote me on that one. Uh, well, I, I misunderstood you. I apologize for that. But my, my real question is, where do you ideally see Sizemore setting, uh, settling in in the lineup? Well, right now, um, he has had the most success uh, uh, leading off, and uh, that's what we plan uh, to hit him uh, for now. Things can change, though. I mean, and, you know, it, it all depends on, on the, the development of Laporta and some of those uh, right-handed hitters that, we, that we're going to have in our lineup because, uh, you know, you want to have a, a balanced lineup. You don't want to end up uh, in certain games with three, four lefties in a row, you know, to hurt you at the end of the game. So um, I think uh, as up to now, that's where he had the most success. A success, and well, if we do have to make the adjustment, you know, we'll, we'll communicate it the, the proper way to Grady, and I'm sure that he'll do what's best for the team. Has the brass uh, in your meetings during the process um, given you the freedom to go out and get a pitching coach or a hitting instructor, and also uh, taking advantage, as you mentioned in the press conference, about promoting from within, because we have a lot of good people already in the Indians organization. Yes, we do, and uh, this organization has been uh, known to be very good at that. And you know, we do have some internal uh, candidates for just about uh, every 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 staff opening, and uh, we we are working collectively. I mean, this is not uh, me bringing in uh, wherever I want. Uh, we're we're just uh, working as a team. We're going to try to put together the best staff possible, 
and uh, and you know nothing is going to be forced on me. I mean, Mark and Chris and the whole front office have been uh, really good about that. It's something that it's a decision that we're going to take as a team, and you know, make what uh, the best decision for the Cleveland Indians. Would you consider bringing Louis Isaac back? Well, that's <laughs> uh, I I know Louis for a long time, and you know, right now, you know, we, we're going through that process right now. I can't. You know, I can't go into that right now on the record telling you that, that I'm going to do that. But, you know, it's a, it's a very tricky question. I mean, um, he did a lot for this organization. He was valued. And, um, you know, we are going to pick the best coaches, whether they were here before or were not here. Will you bring some of that National League style of managing over here to the American League, sort of like Sosha um, incorporates with the Angels? Well, yeah, that comes with the, with the type of players that you have. And I think uh, we have a potential to have a team that, that is capable of doing some of the stuff that is done uh, over in the National League because looking at our, at our outfield, you know, we, we have guys that are athletic, that can run, that have a decent power, and then we have some guys in the infield too that can do that. So I don't see why why this team uh, uh, won't be able to do those type of things. It's uh, it's always about what you have in hand, you know. And uh, if you uh, if you're loaded with your big time power slow hitter guys, would well, obviously you know your hands are tied and won't be able to do some of those uh, so-called National League moves uh, that people want wants to refer to. So, but, but I think our lineup is going to be, you know, a very interesting one, a very exciting one, athletic one that we were uh, we uh, will be able to do some of those things. I'm a baseball purist, Manny, as you will find out working uh, um, together, and I'm looking forward to that. But i got to ask you, I think this World Series has the makings of a great historic seven-game series. You have a pick? I don't have a bet, but I'm, I'm with you on that. I think it's a very balanced World Series. I think the two teams are very good clubs. Um, so much is being made about the the. the, the, the the power that the New York Yankees have, but the Phillies, you know, they 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 led the the National League last year in home runs, and you know they have a power lineup, powerful lineup. They have a lot of athleticism throughout the lineup, and you know the Yankees probably have a little bit of a of advantage on their starting rotation, but you know it, it's not too shabby you know, on the other side, uh, especially the way uh, the playoffs are set up with those days off. I mean, you might end up seeing a guy like like Cliff Lee. You know, even three times if, uh, if sure. they need to. Manny, uh, in conclusion, um, your personality, have you, did you learn to speak English as a little boy in the Dominican <laughs> Republic? Because you're, you're so fluent and concise, and I like your sense of humor. How long have you been speaking English like, as well as you do? Well, I take that as a compliment. No, I, uh, I, I, learned, I learned how to speak English when I came over here to play baseball in uh -huh. 1987. Uh, uh, I, I took English just like you guys take Spanish here in high school, just a few things. You know, the car, the car is red. I'm in the car and all that. But, I mean, the, the, real, the language I learned it here when I came over here, I, I, I made sure that I adjusted to the United States because I knew that the United States wasn't going to adjust to me. And, you know, I, I made an effort. To, to hang out and to, and, and to spend a lot of time with the, uh, with the American players so I could learn how to speak English. I, I read a lot, so that helped me to learn how to, uh, how to write. And it really helped me that uh, wonderful Cindy. Uh, it's, uh, it's American and doesn't speak any Spanish, so she, she's still teaching me nowadays. Well, I took a little Spanish, and all i got to say with your hiring, excelente, perfecto, muy bien. <laughs> Congratulations, Manny. I thank you. We'll talk to you uh, down the line, and uh, best of everything. Enjoy, sir. All right, Bruce. Bye, Manny. It's uh, Manny Acta, the new manager of the Cleveland Indians. Be